Hello there guys! For today's video, I'm going to show you how to restore old photos using AI tool in Photoshop. And also, we will dive deeper into duplicating of layers, converting layers to smart object, using neural filters like colorize and photo restoration. So let's get started! So here in our document, I prepare here an old photo with a black and white color. And our goal here is to restore this one as much as we can. So the first step we're going to do here is we're going to create a duplicate layer of our background layer. So going on to the layers panel, click on the background layer, right click on it, and then choose on duplicate layer. And then let's name this layer as the photo restoration. Hit OK. Then from this photo restoration layer, I'm going to convert this one to a smart object. So to do that, right click on it and then choose on convert to smart object. There you are. And by the way, if you find this video helpful so far, please consider subscribing to help YouTube algorithm show my videos to other nerds like us. Well, moving back, the next step we're going to do here is we're going to use the photo restoration under the neural filters. So with that photo restoration active, go to the menu bar, go to filter, then choose on neural filters over here. Click this one. All right, so this neural filters feature will appear. Then go at the last one. You can see here photo restoration. All you have to do is to switch this on. Click this one. And once I did that, it tried to enhance the photo automatically. Okay, so under here from the photo restoration, we can adjust the setting from the amount that you want. Okay, so for the photo enhancement, I'm going to increase this one to give more contrast to our image. There you are. All right. So I'm going to set this one to amount of 85. It also says here we can also enhance the face. OK, so let's try this up. All right, let's increase this one. All right, so when I try to do that, you will notice here that AI Photoshop tried to create pretend faces on our subject's face. There you are. All right. So also, you will notice it has a sharp edges on their faces and has a strong contrast. Okay, so I'm going to set this one into amount of 50 so that it's not that sharp. All right, 52 is fine. Okay, and also it says here on the other one, scratch reduction. So if your image just has lots of scratches, well, this one is useful to lessen it. Okay, so I'm going to increase this one. Look what happened. There you go. Okay, I'm going to click this one for us to see the before and after. Look at that. Then also, let's click on this adjustment. If your image has much noise to it, you can also reduce that. So we can increase this one, noise redu reduction. Okay, so I'll go with a high amount. 80 is fine. There you are. All right. Also, you can also adjust the color noise reduction. Okay, if your image has half tone, you can also increase this one to decrease because our image doesn't have any half tone artifacts to it. Okay, and there you go. All right, so once you're good with it, now hit OK. All right, there you go. So you can see on that on that layer, we already applied the smart filters. That is the photo restoration. Okay, now actually, I can show you the before and after. This one is the before. And this one is the after, right? Now, if you want to give color to your image, we can now apply the colorize. So click on the photo restoration layer, go to the menu bar, go to filter, then choose on neural filters. So again, from the features, now this time we're going to choose on colorize. Just switch this on. There you are. It automatically apply color to our image, especially to the skin tones of our subjects. All right. But there are some part here that we have to fix on so just like this subject stands it's something like brown here and here at the bottom it's blue on top okay now the, our goal here is to make also blue on the on the lower part of the stance so going going here on this image here focal points we can manually color this image so let's create a point from here click this one then go to a bluish color then hit okay and then for the strength, I'm going to increase this one. That's same with that looks same with it. 
Okay, then let's also add another point on the other pen. There you are. It's turning blue. Also to the knees. Better. Okay, also to the sleeves. All right. Now, as you have noticed here that the woman's sweater is also turning blue. So if you want to put a specific color in it, so let's say, for example, I want it red. Okay, so just click on that sweater of the woman. Okay, then go to color with this one. Then set this one to red. All right, this one is okay. Hit okay. All right, so let's also fix this one. Let's add another focal point here. Just click it. There are also here. All right, there you go. Now that looks that this woman is wearing. There you are. Let's in, let's just decrease the strength because the other woman's clothes are also affected. Okay, so once you're good with it, hit okay. And there you are. Now let me show you the before and after. This one is the before, and this one is the after. And that is how to restore old photos using AI tool in Photoshop.